Hey guys, Greg Benz here. What do you do if you want to change the color of one specific flower in an image? In the past with Lightroom or Adobe Camera Raw, if you went to the HSL tab to Hue and then started playing with, for example, the purple slider here, well, you could change the purple flower, but you're going to change all of the purple flowers across the entire image. You couldn't just locally change one thing. So it was a job for Photoshop, but that's no longer the case. We've got some new tools we're going to take a look at. So let's zero this out. And what we want to do is create a local adjustment through either a brush, a radial gradient, or a straight gradient. In this case, we'll use a radial gradient, which we can click and drag to help target this flower here. And it's not a perfect targeting, it's just kind of getting us in the ballpark. But once we do that, we have this new hue slider. And when we start adjusting that, we'll see hue changes that are outside of this gradient. So we want to flip it, we'll click invert, and now we'll see hue changes that are inside of it. And we're still not seeing exactly what we want because we're changing the flower, but notice we're also changing the grass behind it. So we got it to this flower, but now we need it to adjust the right colors in this area. And there's no purple slider here. You're changing all of the hues. So the way that you make this tool work is you want to go down and use a range mask. So go click on this and choose color, then grab the color picker, and then just click and drag to pick a range of hues to sample. And voila, you have isolated the changes just within this radial gradient to these colors inside that radial gradient. And now we can play with the hue and find the exact shade that we want. So maybe I'll go make this more of kind of a red color, something like that. And if you want to get really picky, you can either click this use fine adjustment or hold down alt or option, and that'll turn it on. And now you can move and you get a little bit more precise and slow movement of the hue to find the exact shade you want. Once it's good to go, we'll just click escape to close this. And you can see from before to after, it's done a really nice job of just isolating and changing that one color in the image right inside of Lightroom or Adobe Camera Raw. Be sure to click to the next video where you'll learn how to use the new ISO adaptive presets in order to automatically fix noise in any of your images.